One common rounding rule is to use significant figures. If we use two significant figures, then that usually means that our answer will only have two non-zero digits. And the, all the other digits will be zero, and they'll just be there as placeholders. Now, that seems a little bit abstract. So let's see how it actually works. Suppose I want to round this number here to two significant figures. I first look at the first two significant digits. I read from left to right until I find a digit that's not a zero. Ping! And then I keep that one and the next one. So the decimal, not the decimal point, I'm going to round right here. That is the point I'm going to round on. Because that is the point after the first two significant figures. All of the others are going to be zero. Before I convert them to zero, let's have a look at this number because I'm rounding here. This is a two, and on a two, I round down. This is just like normal rounding. On a two, I round down. So all of the digits will go zero, and that will stay at 57. That's not so bad. It's just normal rounding. The only thing that is different with normal rounding to this is that you have to figure out where to round. Uh, this one, I'll do the same thing. I read from left to right. I find the first number that's not a zero. There it is. There we go. And I move to the right two places. So I keep the first digit that's not a zero, and I guess the one after to have those two significant figures. You can see I've included two significant figures here. I look to the right. I've got an eight, and on an eight, I round up. So this number here, instead of being 32, it will go up to 33, and the rest will become zeros. I really would recommend putting the dotted line. Um, I find when I'm marking, students who do that generally get high marks, just because they get it right more often. Um, okay, this one, we can read from left to right. Boop, 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 boop. Zeros, I don't care about zeros. So there we go, these two. So I need to put my dotted line after those two. These are my first two significant figures. So I need to round off everything after. That two will turn into a zero and vanish. These zeros were important because if I got rid of them, it would be 57. And currently it's 5.7 million, 5,700,000. And if I gave you the choice between $57 and $5,700,000, they're very different amounts. Whereas here, I can just get rid of the zero. It's at the end, it's after the decimal point, it's just, it's uh, not needed. Um, okay, good. So that disappeared, rounded down. All right, this one here, I can read from left to right. There's my first digit, there's my second digit, so I need to round right here. Um, what do I have? After this line is a three, and on a three, I round down. So this will all vanish, um, and 1.7 will stay the same. That's not so bad, is it? That is how you round significant figure, two significant figures. Obviously, if it's three significant figures, then you would include the first significant digit and two of them after. All right. This is exercise 2D, by the way. Um, yeah. Hope you got something out of it.